Reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord. And I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple towards the east. For the facade of the temple was towards the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the other outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling on the right side. Then, when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured out a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand, but once more that made, had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. <coughs> Again, he measured off a thousand and made me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand. But there was now a river through which I could not wade. For the water had risen so high, it had become a river. It could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, have you seen this son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, this water flows in the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea, the salt waters which makes it fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature can multiply and shall live. And there shall be abundant fish, for wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks to the river, three fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor will their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow of the sank from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. Word of the Lord. <laughs> Response to the song, the Lord of hosts is with us. Stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is a refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken, the mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God. The whole dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us, our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us, our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us, our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Glory to you, Word of God, praise to Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called Hebrew Bethesda with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I'm on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you? Take it up and walk. The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews, that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. ways to interpret the scriptures is to see the events of the New Testament prefigured in the Old Testament. And it'll change the way that we look at the Bible if we think about it this way. So if we do what St. Jerome said, which is to see Christ peering through the lattices of the Old Testament, borrowing image from the Song of Songs. And so we can see Christ prefigured in people like Moses or David who saves their people, or a prefigurement of Christ. We can also see ideas like sacraments prefigured in the Old Testament. And here today, and especially in the first reading from the prophet Ezekiel, we hear baptism prefigured in the Old Testament. The water flowing from the side of the temple, that trickle which began, and that water which would serve as healing for the nations, healing for the people. Now, we know that there was the true temple of God, of course, is our Lord himself, the temple of his body. And we know that from the right side of Christ on the cross was open, and there blood and water flowed out. <coughs> Baptism has its power that comes from that blood and water. Baptism has its power coming from the cross. And we know, too, that it began just that small from the open side of Christ, that small flow of blood and water. But that grace now has become a mighty river which covers the whole earth for anybody who seeks baptism and is open to God working in their life. Now, what does this mean for us? Well, brothers and sisters, all of us who are here on a weekday, right, and presuming most of us have been baptized. And we've been brought forth, you know, from that font. And unless we're baptized in full immersion, our baptism probably began with what? A trickle. We hear in the, in the first reading, right? A trickle. A trickle of water as the priest poured over our head. I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yet our spiritual lives are meant to grow. Are meant to grow like that river flooding over many, many acres. Like a river coming down from the top of Mount San Jacinto, beginning in just a little tiny stream and then becoming a great rushing torrent near the bottom. That's how grace should work in our spiritual lives. They should grow and grow and grow. 
This also means for us, brothers and sisters, that we have to be open to God, right? It's God's action that begins that trickle, right? It's God's action that begins that grace and baptism. But it also means that we need each other. I can't baptize myself, right? I cannot go in as much as I would want to do that if I would want, need, want to be baptized. I couldn't go in the water and say, I baptize myself. It's like a priest. I can't absolve myself either. By the way, priests have to go to confession too, right? We can't say, I absolve myself in the name of the Father, the Son. I wish I could do it, but I can't, right? I've got to stay in the line like everybody else. Yes, so we need God's action, and we also need each other to help us do that. We see in the gospel today, of course, that man saying, there's nobody to put me in the water, right? And then he receives from the Lord himself healing. Brothers and sisters, we need to be open to God's action in our lives, and we need to be open to God working through each other so that we can be happier and holier now, but ultimately so we can get to heaven, right? Which is the main goal of our baptism. We're baptized as children because we want to get to heaven, and somebody who's gone to heaven has become a saint. As the life of grace began as a trickle in us, we pray that it might end as a mighty torrent. As we become the saints, we are called to be in heaven forever with the Lord. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. We ask this through the intercession of all the angels and saints, but above all, through our blessed Mother, who stood faithfully by the cross, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 